Hello, it's Jesse Bourne bringing you another Sea Chest to Blog. So today the mission statement is to make two puzzle boxes. Our inventory stock here. So there's uh, catalogs, mahogany, bacote, wench, and then there's more wench. What it's going to try to do is uh, simplify the processes and then put them into a process sheet. Hopefully he'll be able to write a few more documents uh, so that we can get uh, standardized so that we build the boxes the same way every time. And if we have somebody new come in and build something, they'll know how to do it and they'll build it exactly the way that we want it with our specs. You got anything to say, Josh? It's going to be a good day. kind of wasted my time a little bit testing out this this jig here what we need to do is we need to take these mahogany sides and we need to go from this to this and the way we do that is uh, using the mortise bit in here and we just hand punch in the detail and come down with the bit first we come down with this bigger size and then we'll punch the center again with the smaller bit and that gives us that nice hand carved detail there and I made this little template to go over the top of it but uh, it's just not quite as easy as doing it by hand little things like that slowed me down this morning but uh, it's good to try stuff how's it going? pretty good anything is it going faster? it will be Driving works a million times better. So right now I'm prepping the uh, mahogany sides of the box. So this is after the staining has been done. I have the uh, mortise detail in there and then I just put on some of this brown stain to color it. Quite dark brown. So it goes from looking like this to looking like that. Getting set up to drill the ends of these sliders here. I'm gonna have this jig set and it should work out nicely. I'm putting some more detail expertly carved into the top of these pieces. This pilot box is going to sail the seven seas. Some of them are gonna sail the seven seas true. because people are buying them in Australia. lines on there, they have to be taken off. So basically, uh, it's, it's after six, so we're kind of wrapping up the day. So where we leave it at? Well, basically, we don't have boxes together enough that we can show you because obviously you just see an assortment of parts. There, you know, basically all the components are subassembled, but now we need to make everything come together. The reason it kind of took us longer was because I was messing around making extra parts because we still have a bunch of um, inventory here. Gosh, I mean the parts, they're turning out yeah. good. So that's really good news. Things weren't fitting up correctly. I'm gluing up correctly, but they're working out pretty well now. <laughs> now we fixed the faulty parts, so we shouldn't have faulty parts. And mm -hmm. you also wrote down processes here. They're all going in here, and then uh, we can just pull up and check because, you know, depending on who does what job, um, we, we want to make sure we do the same thing every time. And sometimes you forget, like when I was gluing something on, I forgot that I should wax something underneath it first so that the movement was smooth so there's lots to remember 